Welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about how to make an automatic music player with a Raspberry Pi. So I have a Raspberry Pi here. I'm going to plug the headphones out into this portable speaker. This is just an auxiliary jack. And I'll turn the speaker on. Okay, and I've powered this up. So this is going to boot and then it's going to start playing music from a directory and it's going to loop through that continuously forever. And then when I'm done with it, I can just unplug this and it will shut off. So this could be used for like Halloween music or Christmas music or something like that, uh, like ambient music. So the, what we do here is we install the system on here and then we uh, set it as read only. And then that way when we plug, unplug the power from here, it doesn't uh, harm the SD card. So, so there you go, it started playing. I just turned it off, uh, but I can just unplug it now, and it's uh, ready to go for next time. So you could hook this up to like a uh, like a wall outlet that's Wi-Fi controlled or on a timer or something like that. So a prerequisite for doing this is you need a Raspberry Pi um, and all the things for that, and you need to install the uh, Raspbian Lite edition, and you need to set up SSH on the Raspberry Pi. I have a video on some of these things. I'll put them in the description. Uh, but if you have any questions, let me know, because I don't want this video to go into like three hours on uh, how to do this. So I'm going to uh, get on my Mac now and SSH into this, because I can screen record nicely on my Mac. And I'll SSH and I'll talk about how you config this to uh, become a standalone music player. Okay, we're on my terminal now. So first thing I want to say is I downloaded some music from this free music archive, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And I have that in my downloads folder, so I have all this music in here. I'll go over to my terminal, and I'm going to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we're in the Raspberry Pi now. So I've already run um, apt update and app upgrade, so everything is up to date here. So what I want to do now is I want to copy the music to the Raspberry Pi. So I'll say mkdir space, and then I'll just say music. And now I'm going to open up another terminal, and I'll cd to the downloads directory. And there are numerous ways you could transfer the files over. This is just the way I'm choosing to do it. I'll type scp, and then star space pi at 192.168.7.154 colon tilde forward slash music forward slash. So I'll hit this. It'll ask for my password. I'll type the wrong one. Oops. Now I'll type the right one, and now it'll transfer all that music over. So on the Raspberry Pi, um, there are different music players. One is MPG123, and I tried that and didn't have a lot of luck with it. Um, the audio quality was kind of bad. So I'm going to use OMX player, so I'll type sudo space app space install space OMX player. I'll hit enter. Okay, it's downloading. Let's see if this is done yet. Okay, I can close the music download. I'll say yes, I want to install this. So this will take a few minutes to install now. Okay, that has finished installing. So if I type ls here, I'll see the music directory. I'll cd into the music directory. And I see all the music here. So now I'll type OMX player, and I'll go to the first track, and we'll have Computer Music All Stars Club Transylvania. So if I hit this, okay, that did work. Um, if you have, uh, and I have the, the speaker next to me right now, so you probably heard a little bit of that over the microphone. But if you have it on HDMI, it may go through HDMI. But what you can do with OMX player is you can type dash o space and then you can type local or you can type hdmi here and that'll play it through the uh, headphone port or the hdmi port so if i type local here we should hear it again okay i think if you type omx player by itself it uh, tells you all this stuff too so if we look up dash o it says device and it can be hdmi local both or Elsa. 
with the uh, colon device. So there's a couple different options there. So I'll CD to go back to my home directory. I'll clear the screen here. And now I'm going to go to my text editor and I have this script here. It's called Video Player. I'm going to change this to Music Player. I'll put a link in the description to my website where I'll put this code on there and I'll also have a link to the original code where I found this. So I'm going to copy this and in my Raspberry Pi terminal I'm going to type uh, nano space music player dot sh and I'll paste that in there. Okay. So this is the OMX player line here that plays the music. I'm going to take that out and I'm just going to type ls space uh, dollar sign entry. And then I'll hit control O to save and control X to exit. Now I want to type chmod space plus X and then music player. And this will make that executable. So now if I type uh, dot slash music player, what we're seeing here is it's just repeating um, the names of the songs. So it's running ls on every song. And the reason I'm doing this is it's a good test to make sure that this is working. So you could type OMX player in there and it, it'll play a song, and, but that might take five minutes and then it'll play the next song. Well, ls happens nearly instantly. So this is a good way to check your music list to make sure you don't have any of like file names that are gonna be incompatible or anything like that. So now that I've done that, I can go back into the music player. I'll type nano space music player dot sh and I'll go down and I'll comment out the ls line and I'll leave in the OMX player. I'll type control O to save. I'll uncomment the OMX player and control X to exit. And now I want to run music player uh, automatically when this starts up. So I'll type PWD and you see my uh, directory I'm in is home slash pi. So now I want to type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash rc dot local. I'll hit enter. I'll scroll down here and you'll see there's an exit command. We want to be before that. I'll type forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash music player dot sh space ampersand. And I'll type control O to save, control X to exit. Okay, so now that we have this in place, we can type sudo reboot. And then when this reboots, it should start playing. And we're going to get knocked out of our SSH sec um, session now. So I'll start up, I'll get ready to start up an SSH session here. So when it reboots, I can get right back into it. So now we have everything set up for our music player, um, but the downside is if we pull the plug, we could corrupt the SD card. So what we want to do is um, go to this page. It's on the Adafruit learning system, and I'll put a link into this on my website. And this is the how to set up the read-only uh, Raspberry Pi. And that's why we have to start with the Raspbian Lite. And if we scroll down here, you'll see here's the script we run. So I'll just copy this into my terminal. I'll hit enter and then I'll get the next line ready and I'll just run this so I'm uh, downloading a script and running it and you should probably read scripts that have before you run them but um, I'm not <laughs> uh, so I'll say I want to continue this makes it read only and there's no reversible way to do this you could take this SD card into like a Linux system and mount it as read write and then say add more music or something but um, it says, uh, do you want to enable the boot time read write jumper? And I'm going to say no. You can read that Adafruit page. It goes over all these things I'm looking at. And I don't want to install the halt utility. I'll hit no there. And do I enable the kernel panic watchdog? I'll say yes with this. And I'm using an older Pi, so I'll choose two here. And then I'll say continue. And then this will run for a few minutes. This will download all the software. It'll make everything read only. And once this is done, our Raspberry Pi is now ready to um, act as a audio player. So you can plug it in to start the audio. You can unplug it to end the audio. So you could hide this behind a Christmas tree or something, and you could plug in some powered speakers, or I'm using a battery-powered Bluetooth speaker. Um, there are a number of different ways you could do it. You could uh, weatherproof this and put it outside for Halloween or, or for Christmas music too, if you have a Christmas display. 
And this isn't like high tech where it's synchronized with your lights or anything. This is just for, like I said earlier, it's for ambient uh, music. So. so I'll speed the video up here and then we'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so this is finished now. I'm going to turn the music back up a little bit because it's still running. I'll hit reboot. So we'll hear the music stopped. And this will probably take a minute or so before it starts back up. I'll sp I'm going to cut the video here so you don't have to wait the whole time. Okay, so the music's back up. I'm going to pull the headphone uh, jack so I don't have to listen to it. And then what I can do is uh, log back into that box. And this is using Wi-Fi. Um, and I have the dongle in there, but I could pull the dongle out. Um, but if you had this set up on Ethernet, you don't have to have network connection um, to use this at this point. And it probably would be better to not have your Wi-Fi turned on on this. But if we look at here, if I type, uh, let's see, df space dash h, you'll see we have the uh, file systems on here. So if we look here, we can go into music. And if I try and remove something here, it says I can't remove it, uh, read-only file system. So at this point, I can just unplug the Raspberry Pi, and it shouldn't do any harm to it. Now, as they say on the um, Adafruit learning system, you should make a backup of your drive. So you know, if this is a vital system, like if this is for, say, a store, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make a backup or two of this. So if something did happen to the SD card in the future, you could just pop it out and pop it in. Actually, if this was for a store and uh, you really want that music, I would probably have a whole second Raspberry Pi ready to go. If the music ever stopped, you could just swap it out and, um, and figure it out later. So, because these things are so cheap. But uh, that's all for this video. Um, if you have any questions about this, I know this is, could be kind of complicated for some people. And uh, don't hesitate to ask me any questions in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.